making a thermoelectric generator. When two dissimilar wires are joined to each other from both sides and one junction is heated while the other is kept at low temperature, an electric current flows through the wires. The voltage so developed is called thermo EMF, that's thermo electromotive force. The direction or flow of current depends on the combination of metals used. Let us make a thermoelectric generator and demonstrate electricity production. Materials required are 1 milliammeter, copper wire, iron wire, beaker, ice, Bunsen burner or candle. The procedure is as follows. Take one copper wire about 60 to 70 centimeters long and one iron wire of the same length. Join the two ends of the copper wire with the two ends of iron wire. Cut the copper wire at the middle and join its two ends with a milliammeter. Now heat one junction of copper and iron wires with a Bunsen burner or candle and put the other junction in the beaker. Put some ice pieces in the beaker. After the junction becomes hot, you will observe a deflection in the milliammeter. What happens? There is a phenomenon termed Seebeck effect which states that when the junctions of two dissimilar metals are subjected to a difference in temperature, a current is set up in the loop. It is named after its discoverer who first observed the phenomenon in 1821. In this combination of copper and iron, due to difference in temperature between hot and cold junctions, a current is set up in the circuit. This current flow causes a deflection in the milliammeter. The current so produced is called thermoelectric current.